Hello everybody, I'm Clayton Criscan and I would like to talk about something that uh, I mean since I started recording videos I haven't talked so far and it's so unfair because where I'm living I live in Ireland and I've been living here for five years and I have done any video specifically talking about Ireland or about Irish people and I, I felt so unfair it's so of every my friends, if all, all Irish people that I met here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this video about differences and similarities between Brazilians and Irish people. I was writing down some some differences and similarities. I I could only think about six differences and five uh, five similarities. But uh, if you if you think if you are Brazilian or, or Irish or if you know both Brazilian and Irish and would like to share your knowledge just right here on the comments if I'm missing something maybe we, we can do a part two of this video okay so here we go so one difference it's about friendship okay uh, don't take me wrong they they are very friendly and when you get to know them better and uh, the, the friendship ties uh, it's, it's it's forever you know because when you become a friend with an Irish person it's a real friendship, and an honest and a lovely friendship. Uh, but in the beginning, if you compare Brazilian with Brazilian, we are more maybe outgoing, maybe we are more open. And uh, for example, if you're talking with a Brazilian person, the very same day you're already sharing WhatsApp and <laughs> Facebook contacts. And, and uh, I think an Irish person, it's a little bit more guarded. I, I, of course, I can generalize, but uh, that's the impression I have. For example, when I started singing the choir, you know, the guys, uh, it took took me a, a little. It took me a while, you know, to to really start getting closer to the group and start getting more intimate uh, with people. Uh, so in the beginning, they they were quite guarded. And uh, don't take, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad thing at all. I'm from São Paulo, and I'm very suspicious by nature. You know, I mean, uh, I'm very suspicious. Uh, so I, I tend to be a little bit, you know, step back when when it comes to to friendship because it's like a really, it's like any other relationship. You're opening part of yourself to a strange strange that you have have just met so um, so I don't get me wrong Irish people for God's sake but uh, that's the impression I have um, maybe it's, it's I don't know maybe it's it's that that's what related to be an European you know because Europeans in general if you compare it to Latins yeah we are we are more we have a more bubbling personality we, we are more open we are more extro extrovert and uh, and uh, I think that's the way it is. I think it's not a bad thing, it's just a difference, anyways. Uh, the similarities. Uh, Irish people like to talk a lot and they like to engage in a conversation. You have the up, you know, with both opposite sides, for example, I'm talking about the friendship, but uh, if we start a conversation with an Irish person, the conversation goes and goes, you know, sometimes you're talking, I don't know. Uh, on a bank queue or or uh, I don't know in a restaurant in a pub or you know so uh, it's easy to engage in a conversation with them it doesn't mean that you're gonna end <laughs> best friends ever you know it happens you know for example I was um, I have a friend who has a, an, another Brazilian friend and uh, she's dating an Irish person and uh, because of this proximity proximity you know we become friends in the very same day so it happens you know when you have a friends in common it's easier to to uh, to have a friendship with an Irish person if you have friends in common so this is uh, one of the similarities in Brazilians of course with Brazilians we start talking about one thing and we start telling the whole story the whole history of our lives in just a second you know we start talking you, you can <laughs> You can take me as an example because I'm talking. I talk a lot, and I have to to be fast. I know I've been watching my previous videos, and I know I talk a lot, and I, I try to I try to be concise. I try to be uh, more straightforward, anyways. But uh, I can't because I have a lot to say. <laughs> anyways, um, another difference. It's about partying and drinking. Is um, first of all, okay, forget. 
forget about this stereotype that Irish people drink a lot and drink because Brazilians they drink they do drink a lot. Okay, maybe the only difference because maybe we take we spend more time drinking and they seem drinking faster and become drunk earlier. But Brazilians do drink a lot, and I'm and I mean a lot. I'm saying a lot. I mean all my Brazilian friends who came here. And uh, and even in Brazil, you know, people drink a lot, especially, especially during the summer. It's an excuse to 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 drink a caipirinha, to drink a beer. But uh, we spend more time drinking. That that's the impression I have, anyways. But uh, Brazilians do they do drink a lot as well. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think nightclubs here they close uh, earlier than in Brazil, especially in São Paulo. Because in São Paulo there are a lot of nightclubs there, so um, most of the nightclubs they close almost six, seven. There are some some nightclubs in São Paulo they don't close. They even serve the breakfast in the very the very next day. So um, now in the now uh, now in, dur during the holidays, especially during New Year's Eve, there are many nightclubs. They they offer a New Year's Eve party. And uh, and uh, and then they serve the, the 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 breakfast, the first breakfast of the year on the first of the January. Uh, meanwhile, here in Ireland, most of the nightclubs they, they close around two, three. That's the maximum, you know. And uh, so that's one of the difference. Okay, I try to be faster. Okay. Um, I think similarities both like to talk about their countries. Um, I, I, when I was working in the pub, it was like an exchange of ideas, exchange of information actually, you know. Um, they do like to talk about their countries and I like to, to ask a lot of questions, you know, and they like to, to provide the advice and versa, you know, they, they're very curious about, about Brazil, about Brazilian people, uh, about nature, about the culture, about the music. You know, of course, some 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 of them ask about the violence, uh, but uh, at least myself, I try to not to say to tell the truth, to tell the reality, not to complain a lot because I know many Brazilians like to complain a lot about Brazil. I know there is a lot of things to complain about Brazil, but there are loads of good things about the country as well. Um, so anyway, so both like to talk about their countries. That's the uh, similarity. Another difference, I was talking about partying and, and drinking. The type of glass, here they drink in a, in a um, they use a pint. I'm gonna show you a pint here because we have loads here. So, um, so. This is the typical, the typical pint glass they used to, to drink, okay? A Guinness could be, or any other type of, of, of drinking with a, a beverage. So uh, this is the type of one. Uh, but in Brazil, we usually we drink in a, in a smaller glass. I'm gonna show you a picture for you. It's a 200, I think 250 milliliters glass. So, uh, and we get a bottle of, of beer and we start drinking, you know? So that, that's what I'm saying, we drink small, small, smaller glasses. So uh, we, take, we take longer to get drunk. So unless we start mixing, you know, some caipirinha and anyways. The other similarity is, uh, is, uh, is regarding friend, uh, friendly personality. Okay, both Brazilian and Irish, they have a very friendly personality. If you start against engaging a conversation with an Irish person, in general they are very friendly. So this is it, it's lovely. They are really nice. Okay, and of course, I mean, there I already met some some Irish per, some some Irish people. They weren't so nice, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stick to that because there are good and bad people everywhere, you know, as well. So um, the other differences, uh, the other difference. It's um, it's regarding the accent. Mm -hmm. Usually, I've been told by many um, that Irish people they don't like it when the person is mimicking the accent or try to say, "Oh yes, I'm I'm, I'm speaking with an Irish accent." A foreigner, someone who is not Irish, trying to speak with an Irish accent and say, "Yeah, this is an Irish accent." 
I think I understand because they say um, there is not only one Irish accent, okay? So we have accent from Dublin, from Cork, for Donegal, Tipperary, they have loads of different accents. And, uh, and if we're not doing it right, it's kind of offensive, I think. So uh, this is a kind of uh, one of the differences. Uh, meanwhile, Brazilians, I, we don't care, <laughs> you know. I mean, if we're learning Portuguese and if you if you can manage to 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 um, to nail a Brazilian accent, a particular accent from a certain part of Brazil, congratulations. But I would say, <laughs> if you if you want to try to to mimic one of the accents, best of luck because it's really hard. I mean, there. Loads of different accents in Brazil, and it's really hard to mimic, especially for a foreigner. I think maybe the easiest one, maybe it's uh, it's from Rio de Janeiro that it's it's very characteristic from Rio de Janeiro. Maybe maybe more catchy because they speak slower. Um, so maybe maybe you know. And uh, so that's one of the differences. I think I wouldn't care, and I don't think most of Brazilians I have been talking to. I think most of my friends. I think we don't. I don't mind, you know, if someone tried to mimic the, the accent, you know, not doing this on an offensive way, it's okay. I mean, uh, but uh, we, don't, we just don't care. At least I don't. Similarity, they love sports. Irish people, they love sports, especially, not only one, because Brazilians, we are, I mean, we're not, because I'm not, I don't like football anyways. Uh, but most of Brazilians, they're obsessed with football. But uh, Irish people, they love uh, hurling, rugby, golf, football, and horse racing. So this sport's a huge thing. They're a huge thing here in Ireland, okay? Uh, another difference, it's punctuality. Yes. <laughs> Irish people, they are very strict with punctuality, okay? Maybe not as much as, as British or even German, because I've been told the German, they, are, they can be more picky. Uh, about punctuality than, than British. Um, you know, Bruce, but uh, Irish people, they if you're, if you're scheduled to start something at that time, you have to start on that time, otherwise they're going to start complaining, you know. Um, and meanwhile, I mean, Bruce, we Brazilians, we are, I think we, we miscalculate time all the time. No, we're going to have time to do this, yeah, we have time, enough time to do that, and uh, ended up we don't. I try to, to be punctual. There were situations that I, I got late, but it uh, was something that I couldn't control, you know. For example, the last time I, I was about to, to meet some friends and I couldn't have a, I couldn't find any taxi to go there and I have to go walking. So uh, for, this is one of the, the examples because now uh, this period in, in, in Ireland, it's very busy because of Christmas, yeah, because of holidays anyways. Um, so anyways, that's one of the differences. Another similarity, leisure and travel, they do like to, to enjoy themselves, to enjoy a, a good quality of life. And I think here, because uh, compared with Brazil, they have a, a better quality of life, so they, they can spend their lives better than in Brazil. Uh, what, I, what I mean, they study, they work, and uh, when they have a, uh, when, when they are off, they enjoy themselves. So there are loads of parks here. Uh, the most famous is the Phoenix Park, and uh, they they go there with their families, with their kids, their dogs. You can see Irish people walk with the dogs in the streets. And, uh, but you have to clean after your dog, for God's sake, guys, come on, anyways. And, um, and they're jogging, and they're, you see, they, they're really enjoying themselves a lot. And, and as soon as they can, they travel, all right? They travel actually all over the year. I mean, I have some friends, if they can, they can travel more than two or three times a year here in, in, in Europe because our clothes, you, you, you can book a, a, a Ryanair ticket and pay very cheap depending on the time of the year so it doesn't cost that much for you to travel or even do a, a weekend escape as I did uh, to Amsterdam two years ago so uh, it's, it's not that expensive so um, and the last but not least difference it's uh, regarding um, I think 
Irish society is more open-minded. I think they follow this, um, I would say, prejudices, European mind that uh, you can see in many countries in, in Europe. Um, because maybe because I think the situation here is so much better, they can focus. They can for, they, they they have the other problems kind of solved, and they can focus in more social parts, you know. And uh, one of the examples was the the marriage equality two years ago, three years ago actually, no, three 2015, three years ago, um, when most of the the Irish people they vote for the 34th Amendment of the Constitution, okay, so it's called the Marriage Equality Act 2015. This act was amended to the Constitution of Ireland to permit marriage to be contracted by two persons without distinctions as to their sex, okay. So 62.07% uh, of votes of voters voted for, for the yes, so uh, meanwhile, 37.93% voted for no, okay. This is just one of the things that made me, you know, notice since the very beginning, they have, uh, Irish people, they have a, a, a they are more open-minded uh, regarding some, many things, you know, you can put that abortion, about homosexuality and, uh, and many things, you know, and uh, meanwhile in Brazil we see the situation where it is now, you know, I think there is a, a, a very conservative wave that is taking over and is dominant in people's mind and uh, and I think we are we are still on the way I think we didn't get there that's one of the things that makes me you know, make me move here to Ireland so we don't know what the future could bring so it's very uncertain in ways so uh, so that's it guys yeah this were the differences and similarities between Irish and Brazilians if you if i miss something as again you can comment here down below and uh, don't forget to, to have a look at my other videos they're very interesting videos as well and please give me a like a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because subscribing you help me to 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 grow to make this channel bigger and produce more quality more more quality videos for you okay guys and you can follow me on my social medias and thank you once again for all all people who are support me who are giving me good vibes on instagram i don't forget i, I didn't forget you okay uh i'm probably gonna start creating more something more exclusively to instagram as well and uh, on facebook I, i'll see i have many things to do and i have many plans in my mind so i have just to to start carrying out so anyways guys that's it for today see you on next video kisses hugs bye bye